In this video, I will consider one numerical on Laplace transform. Obtain Laplace transform of triangular waveform shown below. This is given triangular waveform E of t which is triangular waveform. We are supposed to find the Laplace transform of this. So here we can observe that at t equal to 0, there exists one ramp signal. So first we are supposed to find the slope of this ramp signal. So here the coordinates are say x1, y1, here it will be x2, y2. So here x1 is 0, y1 is 0 and here x2 is t by 2 and y2 is e. So let me find the slope that is slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 is e y1 is 0 that is e minus 0 divided by x2 is t by 2 and x1 is 0 which is nothing but 2e by t. That is, so in this e of t the first signal consists of a ramp signal I will call it as e1 of t. So let this is e1 of t which is a ramp signal which begins at t equal to 0 and the slope of this is that is slope of this is 2e by t. Here we can observe that this ramp signal will continue till infinity. So now I can represent this e1 of t as e1 of t is equal to t that is slope is 2e by t slope 2e by t into t u of t that is ramp signal. So it is t u of t slope is 2e by t. Here we can observe that at t equal to t by 2, this slope should be stopped. But here this signal is continued till infinity, but it has to be stopped at t equal to t by 2. So this is 0. Assume that this is t by 2. So at this, at this point or at this t, this ramp signal should be stopped. To stop this signal at t equal to t by 2, we have to add one negative ramp signal at t equal to t by 2. So let that be my second signal. That is my second signal is another ramp signal. I will call the second signal as say e2 of t. That is at t by 2 I will add one negative ramp signal. Magnitude is minus 2e by t. That is minus 2e by t. So therefore now I can represent this e2 of t is so e2 of t is like e1 of t but shifted negative ramp signal. So its slope is minus 2e by t. So it is shifted by t by 2 unit. I can represent it as t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2. So this is our e2 of t. Now for understanding purpose, I will draw how what happens when e1 of t is added with e2 of t? Let me draw here. That is if I add e1 of t and e2 of t. So here say it is 0. t by 2. This is t. Now this is e. So this signal will be add. This is our e1 of t. So when we add with e2 of t the signal e1 of t plus e2 of t the resultant signal will be like this this is the sum of e1 of t and e2 of t so here we can observe that at t from t by 2 the signal will become constant but here in original signal at t by 2 there exists one more negative ramp signal so we should add one more negative ramp signal at t equal to t by 2. Let that be my third signal that is e3 of t. That is now I will draw e3 of t. So this is e3 of t that is same as e2 of t. I will add one more ramp signal at t by 2. Slope will be minus 2e by so this e3 of t and e2 of t are same. So therefore I can write 
e3 of t is equal to minus 2e by t t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2. So now upon adding e1 of t plus e2 of t plus e3 of t. Now when we add e3 of t with this signal. So this signal will go and the signal will move like this. So this will be continued till infinity. So now to stop this signal. But here we can observe that at t equal to t the signal is stopped. But this signal is continued till infinity. So we have to stop this signal at t equal to t. To stop this signal at t equal to t, I have to add one more ramp signal at t equal to t. That is this positive ramp should be added at this point. Let that be my e4 of t. That is my another signal. So let my e4 of t is like this. This is e4 of t. That is this is t by 2. This is t. So at t we have to add one positive ramp signal of slope 2 e by t. So I can represent e4 of t as slope is 2 e by t. Now it begins at t. So it will be t minus t u of t minus t. So adding all four signals. So if I add now plus e4 of t. Now the signal will be this signal, this signal and this signal will get cancelled and the resultant signal will be like this. So that we will get the signal like this which is same as this one. So now therefore I can write, I can write e of t is equal to e1 of t plus e2 of t plus e3 of t plus e4 of t. Therefore, I can write e of t is equal to e1 of t is nothing but 2e by t, t u of t minus this is nothing but 2e by t, t minus t by 2, u of t minus t by 2. This is also same that is minus 2e by t, t minus t by 2 u of t minus t by 2 plus e4 of t is nothing but 2 e by t t minus t u of t minus t. Now we should take Laplace transform of this signal that is taking Laplace transform of above equation we can write Laplace transform of e of t is E of s is equal to, so this is slope is kept as it is 2e by t. Laplace transform of this is 1 over a square minus, so here this term and this term are same. That is 2 into, I can write 2 into 2e by t. So it is shifted ramp signal, shifted by unit t by 2. That is e power minus t by 2s divided by s square plus this will be 2e by t e power minus so it is shifted by t that is ts divided by s square. So therefore I can write e of s is equal to 2e by t s square. I will take 2e by t s square common. So here it will be 1 minus. So this will be 2e power minus t by 2s plus 2. This will be e power minus t s. 
सो दिस इज द लाप्लेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ गिवन ट्राइंगुलर वेव फॉर्म थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग